All right, Hal, thanks very much. And now joining us to talk more about this story is along with diversity in general, civil rights attorney Leo Terrell and film critic Tim Cogshell. And Tim, we were talking while we were watching Hal's report. Is there two, are there two issues here? One is inactive members, mm -hmm. the other is diversity. Or are they joined? Um, well, age discrimination. Uh, the interest of Mr. Basing is age discrimination. Uh, you know, I'm interested, anybody can look at my face and see this gray can see that age discrimination matters to me. Okay. So, so I'm very, very sensitive to that. I don't think that that's an issue here, though. In, in that large new group of Academy members that have been invited to join, there are several people who are over 75, even 85 years old. So if it were just about age discrimination, then the numbers within that group wouldn't reflect that. I think this is more about actually actual participation we're, in the we're industry. Looking, I was going to say. I was going to just say, we're looking at video of, of the last nominees, which were all white. I was going to say, though, if, if they're getting this letter, if, if you're inactive, you're getting this letter, but you have a chance to then let the Academy know that, hey, no, I want to participate, or there's other information, right? So your thoughts, Leo? Well, first of all, from a legal standpoint, uh, it is age discrimination, but they have no case. Let's make sure the Academy is a private organization. Mm. They can set up their own rules. They can start, it's a club. It's not a governmental entity. So from a, from a legal standpoint, they can set their own rule. The board of directors, the board of governors can set their own rule. Personally, yeah, there is age. But, but they're saying if you're inactive, well, well, let me it could be question. age or any age. Well, if think you're about it. In Hollywood, what's the number one thing? You got to look young. If you're old, you're pushed out. So it is a pretext. They're saying this inactivity. It's because you're of your age. If you're an older person, it's harder to get work in Hollywood. Hollywood. Okay. Everyone knows that. So this individual mm -hmm. who last work was in 1977, you correctly stated, it's hard for him to get work. How many people are going to hire an 85 year old man but, but in isn't Hollywood? It, isn't it fair to say a, a lot of people in the industry? might have trouble getting work from time to time. Yes, but there's advantages for being younger, fit, uh, blonde, blue eye. If you're older, well, you're at a disadvantage. Well, and it, older people are at a disadvantage. Would it, be, would it be a better idea if you actually stated in the Oscar, in the Academy's membership rules, that you must do X, Y, and Z in order to maintain an active membership? But see, here's the question that's unfair. This gentleman came into the process, into the Academy, under, under the rules that were set. Now they're changing the rules while he's still a member. That's the unfairness. Personally, he's getting a raw deal because he is still a member, and they're changing the rules during the course of his membership. That rule should be prospective, okay. not retroactive. All right, prospective. But aren't rules a better idea to guard everybody? Because we're talking about a, a whole new you know, influx of racial minorities into the Academy. And I would assume that they'd like to know what the rules are going to be to keep for them to maintain their membership yeah, as well. Years ago, when Mr. Basin came into the Academy, mm -hmm. the only thing you needed was one major right, film contribution and a sponsor. Mm -hmm. That's, well, that's all it? you needed to be yes, a years ago, back in 1958. And for years, that was the case. And the assumption was that once you were in the Academy, you were in the Academy forever, and that all the rights and privileges that accrued to Academy members would always mm -hmm. be yours. Right. Of course, this was just an assumption. That's not in the bylaws any place. Uh, uh, those were the rules in which he came under. And, and certainly that's the way it's been for years and, and years. And, 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 the, and let's, let's, let's just unpeel the cover. A, a lot of blowback from the lack of diversity. Mm -hmm. We don't want to expand right. the membership to include 100,000 people. Let's get rid of the dead wood. Well, why not keep everybody who's in? That's, him I nice agree. And, and keep it for them who's been in forever. I, I understand the, the notion of the retroactivity of this decision being made. But again, I have to point out that in terms of age discrimination, many of the members who have been invited into the academy in this new crop are people well over 75. There's even an 85-year-old just now. In, you know what they're all doing? Working. But they're they're all well, this will disproportionately right hurt older people. Why? Because it's harder for older people to get jobs in Hollywood. So this will have an impact on older people. Case in, case in point, and this was in, in, I think, the LA Times today, Jerry Lewis is also 90 years old. Yes. Jerry Lewis hasn't been in a film since... What, yeah. 1985? He's in a film, he's in a film this week. And now he's in tomorrow. a film that opens <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Max Rose, which, which right. is an interesting. Now, uh, Jerry Lewis hasn't been in a major motion picture since 19. He's been, he's been working, though, uh, in various different places. Which might make a but difference, not to a certain, but, no. not, but not in the major The, 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 the sad part sure. about this, by it being a private club, it has the right to control its rules. It's not influenced by government laws, and therefore, they have the right to be unfair, and that's what they're doing. They're being unfair. But right. over, so, overall, are you liking the changes you're seeing? Generally speaking, yes. I, I am concerned about age discrimination, and I hope that that's not what's going on here. I keep coming back to this notion that several of the new members of the Academy who have been invited in are older people. Okay. Got it. All right. Tim, Tim Cogshaw. Thank, Thank you, you much. very much. Leo Terrell. My pleasure. We'll see you a little bit later. Sounds good.